In the past, I haven't talked all that much about politics, but I'm starting to more now because politics and religion really are inextricably linked. Here's a good case right here. The Supreme Court denies the petition from a Florida city to toss an atheist's First Amendment suit over prayer vigil. Several atheists say that they were offended by a prayer vigil held in the city of Ocala, Florida in 2014 after a mass shooting that injured several children. I'd like to point out that this step in the litigation process only happened last week, and this has been going on since 2014, so the US legal system is very, very slow. Regardless, the US Supreme Court on Monday rejected a Florida city's request to dismiss a lawsuit brought by atheists who said they were offended after the city had held a prayer vigil following a local mass shooting. The city of Ocala had asked the Supreme Court to clarify whether psychic or emotional offense allegedly caused by observation of religious messages was sufficient to grant the atheist standing to sue, arguing, arguing it's not. Um, essentially what had happened back in 2014 is there was this mass shooting in Ocala, and as it says here, well, you know what, I'll just read this. The case concerns two individuals, Lucinda Hale and Art Rojas who are members of the American Humanist Association. Hale and Rojas have accused Ocala of violating the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment after police organized a prayer vigil with local religious leaders in response to a 2014 shooting. So there was a shooting in 2014, and some of the religious leaders and the police in the area had a prayer vigil about it, and these atheists are saying that it's vi in violation of the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Well. The First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So in that first sentence it says, the law, there shall be no law respecting any establishment of religion over another or prohibiting the free exercise thereof of religion. And what had happened in the original case was some police who are overseen by the federal government and religious leaders had a prayer vigil. But nowhere in there is a law made or is any exercise thereof of religion being restricted. The Constitution of the United States is a set of rules for the federal government. So the federal government can't make a law saying that one religion is favored over another and no law was made here and they can't prohibit the exercise of religion, so their hands are tied here anyway because this is the exercise, of, the free exercise of religion. It's pretty cut and dry. I don't really know why uh, this lawsuit has been brought up in the first place, except that these two atheists were offended, and nobody has the right not to be offended. That's definitely not in the Constitution. If you're like me, you probably needed a refresher on the Constitution, or the First Amendment at least. Um, when we talk about religion and politics and separation of church and state and all that kind of stuff, remember, the government can't make any law saying that one religion is preferred over another, and they can't prohibit the free exercise of said religions. This and things like it in private life have nothing to do with that, even if those police officers, you know, being on duty, being in their police uniforms, participated in a vigil. It's a choice that they make as individuals, but they're not acting as an arm of the federal government. And even if they were, they're not prohibiting the exercise of religion. They're just praying. They're organizing. Actually, they just organized a prayer vigil. That's all it says in this article. So, seems pretty clear to me. I hope it's clear to you. And I will see you next time.